Hey guys, John here with Realtruck.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Putco Cross Rails Oval Truck Bed Rails onto this GMC Sierra. As you can see here, the kit comes with everything you need to get these things installed onto your pickup. So the first step of this process is to uh, prep this truck and get ready to put these on. All right guys, if you're lucky enough to have the removable caps or don't have bed rails on your truck or bed caps on your truck, then uh, kudos for you. But in our case, we've got these that are molded into this bed cap. So what we gotta do is we have to break out the trusty Dremel and cut this out of here. So let's get that done so we can get our bed rails on. Alright guys, we've got the stake pocket holes cut out, so the next step is to go ahead and assemble our brackets that are going to hold our rails on. So what we want to do is we want to take one of our, our bolts, and uh, this is the one that's not completely threaded, along with one of these plastic washers. And then we have our expanding rubber and our plate. We're going to put that on here. And then we're going to take one of our caps put our cap over that and then our end piece we're going to put it on here and then this bolt is going to go through here and then through here and on to here and then what we'll need is we'll need a hex bit to, to tighten this up Okay, now we don't want this real, real tight just yet because we need to put this down in our stake pocket hole. And if we get it too tight, then this will start to expand and tighten up. So we don't want to do, to do that. So let's go ahead and get this one on the truck. We've already shown you how to put the other side on the truck, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna show you how to put this side on. However, one of the things that we did here was we took these to a local shop and had them powder coated. That's the really neat things about these rails is that you can take these in, have a local shop powder coat them to any color you really want them to kind of uh, accent your truck. We did these in black because we're dealing with a white truck. They look really good on here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to put this side together. So the first thing we wanna do is take our, our end cap and then our, our cover and our spacer we want to lay our cover and our spacer together and then we have our mounting bracket we're going to put that up underneath along with our flat uh, it's kind of a flat nut washer the kind of thing and we're going to take our bolt with our plastic uh, washer on it we're going to put that through our rail piece our end cap for our rail and then we're going to put this through here and attach our flat nut to this. All right, once that's done, we're gonna set all this to the side and we're gonna get our rail and we're going to attach our rail onto the other end that I already have installed on the truck. So we'll get that on there and then we'll show you how to attach the rest of this to get this thing installed. All right, if you remember right from the other side, we have these plastic washer spacer deals that go in uh, into the tube. We've already installed these in this tube. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on the other end piece here. And basically we're just gonna slide it back down over the end of the rail. All right, now that we've got that on and in place, the next thing we're gonna do is put this other end piece on. And the way we do that is we just take the end piece and we're going to drop it down inside the bed pocket and then we're going to slide it into the end of the rail. <clears throat> right, once we have this slid into our rail, the next thing we're going to do is make sure that we have everything lined up here the way it needs to be. Make sure that our flat washer is spun around. Make sure that we have our cover plate and our spacer lined up properly and then we're going to slide this down into the bed pocket. Now 
The next thing we're going to do is take our, our bracket that holds our bed rail for our tonneau cover and we're going to put that on here. And what you may have to do, is you may have to move this around a little bit to get this bolt lined up with the, the nut that's on the, the mounting bracket inside here. Once we get this lined up, get our bolt started, then we can go ahead and tighten that up once we have it in place where we want it to be. And then once that's tightened down, then we can come back up here to our end cap, tighten that up. Okay, now when we're putting this together here, we need to make sure everything's lined up, make sure our cover plate is in the right spot. We got this snug down so that it'll stay in place while we tighten it up. So we're gonna go ahead at this point and finish tightening this up. Now, something I want to point out to you guys, just so you realize that do not over tighten these. You know, the old adage, tighter is better, not always the case. If you over tighten these, you could strip that bolt out, you could bend the, the hardware that's down in the, in the stake pocket, or worst case scenario, you could actually break your end, your end piece here. So we just want them tight. We don't want them, you know, like torque down the, as tight as you can possibly go. And that's pretty good right there. That's how easy and simple it is to install the Putco cross rails, oval truck bed rails onto your truck. So remember, until next time, happy motoring.